What's going on guys, Steve Blake here, and I am visiting Jacob Keller in Oregon. And uh, tonight we're going to Lakers game. We were able to get over to the Nike employee store, and I'm going to show you some pickups as well as some of the stuff that I grabbed from his clothing line, Bare Knuckles. So, Jacob's going to take Bruce out to the bathroom, and uh, I'm going to do a little review. So first up, I grabbed... What are these called, Jacob? What kind of pants? Those are the nylon cargo pants. The nylon cargo pants, which are great. They fit very similar to the Stone Island cargo pants, which I love. Bruce, Bruce, I haven't made a video in like two months. You're gonna ruin it, bud? I'm, I'm hyping them up, it's me. All right, that's fine. Which I absolutely love. And I grabbed one of their washed t-shirts in this great wine color, which I really, really like. I also grabbed a pair of their denim. This is like, uh, kind of like, I don't know how they wash this, but I love, I love, I don't know, man, like season, I mean, I'm obviously very candid with Jacob, like some seasons there's stuff I'd wear more than others, like the alpaca sweater that they had, that's not something I would wear personally, even though it's sold out super quick. The wash crew neck, I mean, these crew necks are just perfect in the nice little lilac color. So it's been super cool to see how his brand's been progressing and if uh, you've been following along, even if you're not interested in the clothing per se, it's been pretty cool to see uh, how far they've come collection to collection as well as um you know like this is a piece from one of their earlier collections that i'm wearing with this and there's a nice like uh consistency throughout the brand which is something that i think is like a hallmark collection to collection there's some things that carry over that kind of tie everything together that kind of common thread which is great so now i'm gonna get into the nike boxes all right so tonight going to the lakers blazers game had to get the blazers <laughs> Because to be honest, I just I I'm not I'm not a crazy Blazers or Lakers fan, but I can't get in the in the Lakers colorways. I just I don't know. I look kind of goofy. I think grab some everyday performance socks. Um, everything from Nike is forty percent off, which is one of the reasons why um, I picked up a bunch of stuff. We came on the right day. They had the recent Bloodline Jordan ones, and then two off white releases, which I'll show you guys as well. And again, these were also forty percent off. So there's been times I go to the Nike ES. And the new release stuff is still full price, which kind of sucks. So to get them under retail was great. All right, so what's going on, YouTube? <laughs> no. So we got the uh, Bloodline. Wait, you want me to go 0 0.5 on them? What? I'm you going 0 0.5 on them. Is, did I do that by accident? No, I'm doing it on purpose. Oh, it's absolutely. nice, a wide angle. Let's oh, do it. Cool. <laughs> so, I got the Bloodline Jordan 1s, 40% off. Resellers had ravaged everything. So being a size 12 going to the ES is nice. Um, I might wear these tonight for the Blazers game. Now, Jacob thought these were both terribly ugly. I mean, come on, guys. But I'll zoom the in first thing I asked is, what's, what's going on with these? Why are these here? And I guess... Um, Virgil put them on as like extras. They don't actually serve a real performance uh, purpose and they wait, will wait, rub talking off. About them spikes. So they will rub off because that's what I was kind of worried about. Um, also how these ended up at the outlets, I'm not 100% sure. I noticed that a lot of the new releases, this label is obviously clear, but some Hold of them on. were like super yellowed. So I don't know if this came from a batch of something that was bad or whatever. And now the ugliest shoe that more. <laughs> Jacob's girlfriend goes, I hope he didn't get those. Those are fucking ugly. Oh, let's do, I'm going to do a little zoom in there. Right and now. I said, I got them. So, and I th I think these match these match with these pants. Tell I me told my, I told brother, if he buys those shoes, I'm taking back those pants I gave him. So, <laughs> looks like you're going to go with your I'm undies to the Blazers game. I'm going pantless. No, I'm going to wear, I'm, I wear, I wear these. So, three shoes, got the pants, got the Blazers jacket. So, wait, oh yeah, you showed those off. three. So or am I supposed to show mine now? Give a nice little thing. Yeah, Jacob, show them what you got. Well, first of all, I got a concussion. I'm okay, just kidding. Right, I'll film you. Hey, wait, click on the 1X and you can see what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. Oh, cool. Well, what'd you pick up? Let's just get the fit. Quick. What are you wearing? Let's get the fit. What is that? These are metallic red ones. Nice. These are Avery Ginsburg Stotz Ballet pants. Stotz Ballet. This wow. This is a human-made t-shirt inside out. Whoa. This is a, a Steel and Edith coat that this guy sent me, so I appreciate it. Yeah, that coat and is I'm sick. I'm wearing this hat because... Ooh, he cut his I head. I hit a, a gate. And so he got a tetanus shot. I had to shot. get a tetanus shot so I don't die. Okay. First pickup, we got the Blazer Mid Quick Strike HH. I don't know what H.A. says. Hawkins High. Hawkins High. Look at the the newspaper. Wow. And then we got the Hawkins High School 
It's got orange on this side, nothing on this side. They got pins on there too, huh? They got the pins. I, I'm not. This is my you first time seeing them. Green on the back, a little bit kind of a yellow outsole. The one thing that I like about Jordan ones versus these is the toe box is slightly wider. I don't. I like the the narrower shoe like these with shorts. I kind of prefer a, if I'm wearing like a little baggy pant like this. I kind of prefer a wider toe silhouette. But for how much? What's one twenty? These are like eighty. Can't do the math right now. So okay. And there was lots of people trying to resell and like pack their carts high. So we like we've gone on days where there's been nothing. And then it's like you try to find something. You know the boys are into fitness. I think. Yeah, I got the same pants. I think. Yeah, but I didn't. I couldn't pick them up because I was one handed. Well, they got the nice pocket right here. It's kind of a three D pocket. Maybe took a little inspo from it is me and Jacob Wallace collab. Um, And then they got a back zip pocket. So these aren't just workout pants. They're also you can run to the store. And your phone's not going to fall out on you. Also, a nice taper, but when you got a wider shoe, you got a little zipper. You can unzip it. So yeah. it kind of sits good. You know, if you wore these with them, wouldn't fucking work because, you know. Was... <laughs> oh, my goodness. My Lord. Um, but these I would have bought if they had my size, but they didn't. What are these called? Uh, Bloodline Jordan 1s. Bloodline? What the fuck does that mean? I Sorry, don't know. They're running out of ideas. Ooh, oh. pretty nice quality. Though. Apparently, if you swear, you don't get ad revenue. But thank God I don't need ad revenue oh. to pay rent. Well, you can bleep it out. Okay. So that's it, guys. All right, brothers. All right, so hopefully you guys enjoyed. Jacob and I are going to get ready. We're going to do a little – we're going to make a Hello Fresh yes, uh, meal and then get ready to go to Lakers game. So also, just really quick. I love Jacob's um, home here. Like, it's built in the 50s, so this is quite literally mid-century. And the wood and paneling here is dope also. Jacob framed the Timothy Curtis print that I sent him, which is super cool. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. Peace.